we're here at uh, Forge Vans, Colorado. Um, we get our heaters from Butter Technic. They have super good customer service, two day shipping. It's as fast as anything from the US. Today we're doing an install of the S-Bar S2D2 um, high altitude heater. It's the highest rated uh, diesel heater on the market at uh, about 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters. Uh, it has auto altitude adjust. Um, it's pretty plug and play to do the whole install. Uh, so I'm gonna show you today how to do it. If I have a flat plate in the van to install, I could drill this profile out. Uh, I can use this little, little, little gasket as a, as a template. Uh, and then pop this through, bolt, bolt this on, and then do this install under the van. But I mean, honestly, uh, it's much easier to just drill a five inch hole with a hole saw under your van, and then you have your flat mounting plate over here. You can seal it if you're running on a sprinter van floor and it's not even. Uh, this is a really nice kind of hack to make the install really easy, and you can mount it to many different, um, many different things, and it also gives you a little bit of space that trim ring, so if your floor is, is spaced up. So we'll, we'll, we'll be installing this today in uh, one of our builds. Uh, I'll just show you guys how easy it is uh, to do this. Um, we have some tools, um, some wrenches. I'm gonna use a driver. Uh, there's an M6, M7, and an M10. For the, for the heater install, uh, there's two main systems here. This is a, a air exchanger. So it has a combustion cycle in here, and then this unit sits inside the van, and this is your combustion cycle, kind of your dirty end, and this one outside your van. Um, so it's got a little marker there, air in, air out, very helpful. This is your fuel line, so it's fuel in from your fuel tank. You get this little cap uh, where the fan is. You'll see here's the heat exchanger, um, where the air blows out. Here, where the fan is, we'll cover this, um, just clips on there so that mice or anything doesn't go in there and kind of ruin your fan. And we're just gonna pop this in here. Um, there we go. Uh, we're gonna pop on some bolts. So now we're seating that, that uh, gasket plate onto this metal plate and then we'll just connect everything to here. So let's just quickly go through here. Um, I've got my air in tube. There's a little arrow there that says air in. The, the air in you think of it as, your, as your cold air. So your cold air is gonna be next to your uh, fuel line in. It makes sense because your fuel line, you want next to the cold part of the exhaust um, and not the hot part. So kind of easy to, to recognize all these things. Uh, it's German made, so um, very, very straightforward, very safe. And if you get stuck here, you can always just twist the tube a little bit and extend it to open it up. Nice, okay, so that's on there. And do a little tightening. Now this is your exhaust tube. Uh, they either come in two parts or one long one. You can cut it with a, with a saw. Be careful, uh, cut metal, this metal, really sharp. Um, so they come with an end cap. Um, I just, you know, to minimize the risk, I'm gonna put this on the one side. This is my exhaust out. Uh, here's my exhaust. It also has an arrow here, exhaust out. So I'm gonna put those two together. Um, you get these fat uh, compression rings. Uh, this is for your metal tubes. Uh, they need a lot more force. Uh, there's a normal hose clamp there, and the normal hose clamps are for your air hoses, and your air hoses are normal, they, they compress easily. Um, so I'm gonna just, Compress this on here. This, this is my, my air out um, from the diesel heater. And I'm just gonna put this on here. It's nice and, nice and tight fit. And I'm just gonna compress this as well. And then my last stage, I'm gonna put this onto the heater. So you can see it's pretty tight working in here. Um, that's why it's easier doing it in the shop than under the van. If you, tw 
twist it around like this, you get it to seat nicely. So yeah, I'm gonna tighten this one as well. And then I'm gonna get a little M10 ratchet that I've got out here and just tighten it all the way. Okay, so there's my, my system. There's a little end cap here as well with a little block so that mice and stuff don't crawl into my air in hose. That just clips on here. So now I've got my whole heater uh, installed here. I've got the exhaust, I've got uh, my, my air in, and now my fuel line. So you get a lot of these little fuel tubes, uh, connectors, and this is important. Um, don't cut these in half uh, if you don't, if you run out. Um, they sell a couple of kits. Uh, the one kit is the Sprinter, the Sprinter uh, install kit, and this kind of makes it really easy because if you don't have this, you'll realize when you come to connect the Sprinter hose to this hose with a fuel pump that this hose is skinnier than the Sprinter hose, and you might be able to squeeze it on there, but it's really, really tight. Then it comes with a connector um, and you'll see the, the the other end of this under the van and you just clip this on and you connect this kind of makes it the same diameter tube uh, so this is really easy so that's one way the other way of doing it in the kit they have a, a reduction sleeve and this is a I believe it's a maybe a six to four mole if you go to the to the fuel tap on, on the spirit tank if you if you cut this off you can connect this one on there. I think this is maybe a $7 part. So this is kind of easy. Uh, and then you just squeeze this on here. Uh, small side on here and the fat side goes to your, to your heater. Um, this is kind of like the, the cleaner way of doing it. One important thing is if you cut these in half and try and marry them on, um, there, isn't, there might be an a, a instance where it bends and there's a little air gap and the fuel pump can suck in air. And you might get some fuel pump errors um, as you go, uh, as you use the heater. Here we have the fuel pump and really nicely it says there, a little arrow on the side, fuel with an arrow pointing this way. Uh, this pump you kind of want to put at like a 20, 15 to 30 degree angle upwards uh, as per the manual. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to pop this off and I'm going to use my um, connecting sleeve. Slide this on there. The slides on are really nice. I'm gonna use my, my uh, connectors, these, these little guys. Um, and this is an M7. Compressors on there. Um, now, what I'll do on this one, uh, is I'm gonna connect my fuel line straight to here. Uh, so, I'll, so I'll slip on another one of these compression rings. Squeeze this in there. And then when I go under the van, I can just plug this in. It's nice and tight. Um, I'm gonna go to my fuel out, do the same thing. Slide this on there. This rubber bracket kind of holds your fuel, fuel pump. Uh, so you just slip it on there, it's a nice tight fit. Uh, you just press it in all the way. Um, and then this you bolt to your, to your chassis to keep it in place. Um, so this is your whole fuel assembly um, from, the, fr from the fuel tap, uh, pump, angled, fuel out, and then this will, will, will slip onto there and finish the connection under the van. So let's do the last connection here. This one is difficult because it's really tight in there. Okay, so this is seated on there. And I'm just gonna tighten this up. Okay, so now I've got all these parts connected. This auxiliary duct, the air duct, um, is gonna run straight through, kind of around my my batteries and kind of heat that compartment. Uh, so it'll, it, you know, you can run this also into your uh, water system uh, and kind of have a nice four season, um, a four season system. It's super simple. You uh, slide this on here. Slide over your 
your bracket, you're gonna get your M6, and then you're gonna clamp this on there. And this cap is your deflector. Uh, so this will kind of, uh, they, it comes with two caps. Um, this is a more straight, straight shot. Uh, the other one has angled, uh, so if you wanna deflect the air, the other one's nice, this one's just more straight out. Uh, so this connects on here, and then this connects on this other ergo heater right there. I'm gonna do a quick demo here uh, of the electrical. I'm gonna run the wiring straight to here. Um, so this end is my kind of electricity in, uh, where they'll connect to my, to my uh, main fuse box. This plug connects to your heater straight in there. Super simple. And this is your fuel line. It doesn't matter which way in it goes. Um, you want to seed this, this little clip in there. So you just want to turn it the right orientation and then pop it in until it makes this click sound. What you do with this side is this clips back at your fuel pump right in here. And that also has a click. Uh, the last connection is your Easy, easy Start Pro Controller. Um, and you'll see the only wires left here uh, are these. It's a little four, four plug. Uh, and you just connect it on there. Clip it in, and then this will light up if it's uh, connected. Here we are in the van. I've got my wiring harness stretched out there so you can see all the different parts. The skinny cable is onto the fuel pump. This is the master to the electronic unit. And then I've got the wiring harness I already installed to the controller. There's the hole, five inch hole saw, just cut right through. And now we're gonna drop this whole assembly right through there and uh, connect it all up. So first I'm gonna start with my fuel pump. Let's go drop this through there. And then the second longest piece is the exhaust. Dropping that down there. And then lastly, my air in. It's also going down. And then at the bottom, I'm gonna separate the fuel line and the hot exhaust to better touch. Okay, so that's in there, nice and flush. And this, where this grill is, is my air in. Now this is my main air out duct hose. So I'm gonna put this right through there. I'm gonna put this on here, connect it in. And then take my six mole and then just tighten this. I'm gonna ride this, ride this through there, cut a hole in the side, and then my wiring harness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck back in there. But for now, connect these two. Here we got positive, negative. And my fuse box is right there, so I'm not going to use that factory fuse uh, fuse box. I'm just going to go straight here. All my fuses are in one place. I'm going to build a box over here so that this doesn't get blocked. Um, if you put your bags in here and that air vent's blocked, you're going to get a, an error message. This guy, I'm going to drill a little hole through the floor and then route it to the fuel pump. Here we are under the van. You can see that fuel, fuel line coming out, running forward towards the fuel pump. The air, keep the air and the exhaust away from each other. We want the air um, not to suck in um, the exhaust fumes. Here we have the S2D2 installed right in the bed. Um, you simply select your temperature, your runtime, and then heat the van up in winter. You can go skiing. Biotechnic's super helpful, great customer service. We love working with them.